Hello everyone. So I'd like to give an account of how I came to know and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. So I'd just like to go back in a time in uh, July of 2017. And this time was very, very tough for me. And it was an absolute low point in my life. But I know that God had used this time and was supervising this time that I was going through in my life as a means to give me strength and give him the glory in this whole process. And at the start of this month, I remember I was volunteering with Texas Parks Wildlife and towards the end of this volunteering, I remember all of a sudden I started getting these onslaught of anxious thoughts flooding into my head. And these anxious thoughts, you know, ranged from thoughts of death and just other wild, crazy things. And uh, I just was really trying my best to subdue these thoughts and everything like that, but I just really couldn't get a good grasp and hold on these thoughts. And so then this started going and progressively getting worse and worse, you know, as time went on in the beginning of my senior year at Texas A&M while I was in the Corps Cadets. And then October 2017 came, and then I remember like dur during this month, my anxiety just got very, very bad and I started getting depression as well. And with the anxiety I was getting, a lot of it was me harboring suicidal thoughts and just was overwhelmed with school and everything like that, but suicidal thoughts was definitely prevalent in my thinking. And because of all this crazy anxious thoughts that were, that were going through my head and me having depression at the same time during this time frame, you know, I just couldn't take it anymore. So, you know, I talked to my friends and my family about all these situations and things like that. And they basically told me like, yeah, you just need to seek help and get the help that you need. And so then I took their advice and I called Texas A&M's mental health services and I told them everything that I just told y'all that I was going through and things like that. And so then I scheduled an appointment with them and the next day, you know, I saw them and told them essentially everything that I was going through at that time. And they had told me, yeah, like you have very severe anxiety and depression. Like you need to get admitted into a mental health hospital. So I ended up getting admitted into a mental health hospital and I was there for a week going through therapy and counseling and things like that. And they also prescribed me antidepressant medications to subdue my anxiety and depression that I was really going through during that time. And so then after this week was done, they released me out of the mental health hospital and I was continually, you know, going through therapy and counseling for some time after that. And I was on these antidepressant medications f for about two and a half years from that point forward. But looking back, like I noticed that as time went on after my mental health hospital experience, my depression just completely subdued and my anxiety was getting better and better as time went on. And I just thank God for his grace and his mercy over my life to let me, you know, not have all these really bad anxious thoughts and that they were just subsiding more and more throughout time. And so when the two and a half years had basically hit, it was February, 2020. And at, that, and at this point I knew that I didn't need these antidepressant medications anymore because of my anxiety was, I was able to really control it very well. And at that point I essentially didn't even have depression at all. So I knew that this was the right time for me to get off these antidepressant medications. So then I started weaning off my antidepressant medications during this month and the process went until May of 2020. And when May of 2020 hit, I was able to successfully and completely wean myself off these antidepressant medications. And I just, 
like to also give thanks to God for being able to, you know, give me the strength to get through this, especially during this time when it was COVID and when COVID was just negatively impacting people and their livelihoods. And yeah, I mean, it was an absolute crazy time for me to be able to go through this and be able to wean myself off antidepressants, but I was able to do it because of God. And shortly after I'd gotten off these antidepressant medications, I started getting this push towards politics. And I knew that it wasn't me per se that was getting this, I was pushing myself to, towards politics, but it was something completely like way bigger and way more powerful than all of us. And it just kept, you know, encouraging me to go into politics. So I just followed my gut instinct and decided to go into politics. And so then I started doing my own research in politics and it was, you know, keeping up with COVID and things like that. And as I started getting deeper into politics, I started realizing that with some of the con political content creators I was following, they were devout Christians and they were posting Christianity content. They'd also just post on how they always place their faith in Jesus Christ and just how they, you know, always put their trust and faith in God during hard times and things like that. And I knew like during this time, it was just absolutely crazy with all the political upheaval that was going on during the summer. And they just continually put their faith and trust into God when the world and politics were absolutely going crazy. So I definitely noticed this from them. And I noticed that I needed to place my hope and trust into, you know, something. And I found that to be God during this time. And slowly but surely, I started to put more of my trust and faith into God during this time. And I also ended up buying my own Bible and started reading the Bible, even if I didn't understand what I was reading. And I was also looking into Christian content on YouTube and things like that, in addition to following these people's Christian content. And so then, you know, I just kept on following politics and, you know, these people's Christian content along the side as well, with me doing my own research into Christianity. And I was doing this from that time to fall of 2020 winter of 2020 and spring of 2021 and as politics in the world got crazier during those times i noticed that my faith in god started increasing more and more and so then april 11th of 2021 comes and i remember going on instagram and watching these three political figures debate on jesus christ being god and two of them were on the same team and they were a christian married couple and they obviously believe that Jesus Christ is God and the person that they were debating didn't believe that and as a result you know they're debating and arguing and the Christian couple did their homework and they provided all these scriptures and verses to back up that Jesus Christ is God and the person that they were debating was getting flustered and his demeanor wasn't there so I just knew that throughout this whole debate and at the end of the debate that this Christian couple, you know, was winning and they absolutely did their homework when it comes to finding scriptures as to Jesus Christ being God's. And just because of that debate, it really weighed heavy on my soul and spirit that Jesus Christ is God. And so then I started really thinking about this for the rest of that day, even though I hadn't accepted Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior at that point. And so the next day comes, which is April 12th, 2021. And I decided to drive my car on this route that I would like to take, which is Highway 280. And Highway 280 runs through Auburn, Alabama, which is where I was living at that time. And also with this highway I'd like to drive on was the same path that I would like to drive during my time when I was weaning off my antidepressant medications so I can just get my mind off of that and COVID and just reflect on life. And so then I decided to drive my car, you know, on this route and go on this route. When I was driving on this route, I 
silly me decided to get on my phone and you know just scroll through my phone which I absolutely recommend and please just do not be on your phone while you're driving <laughs> and so I was starting to do that and I went and got on this app that I had over my phone called telegram app and so I was looking through this app and I clicked on a political content creators page that I followed and on that day this person had posted a Christian post because these, this person is a Christian and this post was talking about how you can accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior right where you're at and that Jesus, like accepting Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, salvation, Jesus Christ is a gift from God. And so then I was reading through this post and I was absolutely feeling convicted and empowered by this post. And I <laughs> decided that, you know, I need to pray and give my life to Jesus Christ right then and there when I was driving my car. So I prayed the prayer that was at the end of this post and this prayer was essentially me praying that I'm in need of a savior and that Jesus Christ is the savior of the world and that when you believe in all the works they did by dying on the cross for your sins and for the sins of humanity, like you can be reconciled to God and all those wonderful things. So I started praying all that in addition to me praying to have my sins forgiven and also just for me to have my sins repented of throughout this whole prayer and when I got done praying I mean I felt so overwhelmed with such positive emotions such as joy exhilaration and peace but especially peace I was just so overwhelmed with peace and I kid you not as soon as I got done praying that prayer and was overwhelmed with all those emotions <laughs> when I was driving I look to my right and I noticed that there's a cross erected on a hill <laughs> and on this cross it had said Jesus Christ is Lord so I knew right then and there that this was a divine appointment from Jesus himself and that just me seeing the cross on the hill with that inscription on it was just icing on the cake for my salvation in Jesus Christ and I just give Jesus all the glory and praise for how I came to ultimately know him and accept him by him using my tests of, and trial of me, you know, having those crazy anxious and depressive thoughts. And then ultimately me weaning and getting off the antidepressant medications and using that to shoot me into politics and doing my research into politics. And for him to use politics as a means for me getting to know him closer and to me ultimately accepting him as my Lord and Savior. So I just thank him for how, how, the, how the whole process worked out. And when it comes to accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you can literally be anywhere and you can be in your living room, you can be in your kitchen, you can be in your bedroom, you can be in your office, you can be outside, you can be in a church building. You can be in a car. I mean, you can literally accept him anywhere and everywhere. He's omnipresent. And just these two scriptures really, in my mind, I believe they explain salvation in Jesus Christ very well. And the first one I'd like to share is Ephesians 2, verses 8 through 9, which states, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. And the second verse I'd like to share is Romans chapter 10, verse 9. And that states that if you confess through your mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe in all your heart that God had raised him from the dead, then you will be saved. So I just know that if you just follow those two scriptures, like, you're basically on your way to accepting Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. And yeah, I mean, he's just absolutely awesome. And he's given me a new sense of purpose and hope and those wonderful things. And he can absolutely do those same things for you 
if you have already believed in him or if you haven't believed in him and you be, and you accept him as your Lord and Savior. And yeah, I just hope that he also blesses you exceedingly and abundantly and above all without measure. And yeah, I just really hope that this video has helped you, encouraged you and blessed you. Peace.